What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K20 Mites video. Today guys, another market video, as per usual, make sure to drop 20,000 MT in the comments, like the vid, some of you are new for a chance of winning 20,000 MT. Make sure the video has got it 40 likes, bro. We're so close. So close to that marker, bro. We're literally so close. Like five likes off. Make sure to smash that like button for a chance of winning that 20,000 MT. As well, drop the sub. So right now, got a ton of different ways to make MT. We're going to go over a bunch of different cards. And to be honest with you guys, there's a lot of ways to make MT right now. A lot of ways. We're going to go over a lot of that ways. And also, um, bro, I literally just recorded this video and my audio wasn't on. So worst possible thing that could have happened to me. I'm very depressed about that. But yeah, let's get into the video. So we're going to go over some new content. So right now we got these packs expiring in two days, which means on Friday we're going to have new content. What? Probably another lousy legacy showcase, which I'm not too happy about. We got these out for another whole week. In my opinion, these packs are trash. They're 12K overpriced. Only thing you really want to pull is Giannis or Dumars. Other than that, trash. And you know you're pretty much going to pull the rubies, emeralds, and sapphires. So these packs are trash. Moments packs. This is not bad. Personally, I've pulled about 70k of them. Got nothing. I mean, that's my pack luck usually. But right now, let's go over to set. Let's go over Booker. Let's go over Russell. So right now, if you buy these cards right now, you're crazy in my opinion. If you did a set, you're crazy. So he's looking. Oh, who got that? Wait a second. Wait a second. Is he a snipe at 100k? I'm confused because I just saw himself for 140. Wait, is, did you guys just see that? I want to just bid it out for 100k, but then one just bid it out for 140. So that's interesting. But this is what I'm talking about. So why is that one at 100k? 110. That, that kid just won it for 100k. That's crazy. So right now, if you buy these cards, right? You buy these cards, okay, you buy him and Russell. So if you do the set for Lillard, you're stuck with three guards that cannot play defense. They only can shoot. So now what happens? In one week, or even now, you go online, you're going to verse kids with pink diamond studs, clamps, D. You're going to verse pink diamond stock and pink diamond price, diamond koozie. A bunch of diamond players have defense. Now, literally, in about a week or two, these cards are going to be unusable. Why? You're going to verse kids that are clamps. They're going to verse... The best defensive players in the game, you're going to have these cards on your team that cannot play defense, okay? This car, this set also costs 350k for Lillard. In my opinion, it's not worth it, okay? Why do I say that? It's because these sets, they literally, for some reason in 2k, if you do sets, they're just useless in weeks. Literally one week, they're useless. So right now, um, to do these sets with Devin Booker with like a 75 perimeter D, it's just not worth it. You're going to spend 350k on the set. I wouldn't do it now. If you really want to do the set, wait till these cards drop at least 50k. Like this card's gonna be under 100k in no time. The card's been out for one day. It'll be under 100k. Same with Russell. But if, if you want to do the set, it's all you. In my opinion, I would not do the set. I like the cards for offense. Don't get me wrong. I love Russell. I love Booker and Lillard. But you know their defense is just bad. It's just really bad. But yeah, here's his defense. You're gonna get blown by by a bunch of bums. A sit. You gotta have a five seven Muggsy Bogues go through your legs with these defensive stats. But yeah, um, set right now is running, running over about 350 KMT. So stay away from the set. Listen to me, man. 350,000 MT is not worth the set um, for three guards that can't play D. That's just me, though. Let's get into the market. Let's check out my AMI filter. So my AMI filter today was hot. I made about 30K off the, uh, the AMI filter. It was pretty solid. Uh, I snapped out a couple Kawhis. I snapped out Paul George's. Now I'm waiting on some cards to go up. In the beginning of the day, they usually... The snipes come faster and they're easier to sell, but here's what I'm talking about. So all these cards are around 18, 19. So these ball George are 17. Now these cards are going to be up to 22 probably by tonight. So you just want to be patient. So what you want to do, I got a couple Hardens, Currys, not Currys, a couple Hardens, uh, Kawhis, and Paul George's for under 15K. That's the price range you want to get them at. And then you want to sell them on for 22K later in the day, okay? That's the method here. Now, I do have a couple on my I only have two on my auction. I did sell some quickly when the market first crashed. Um, I sold about two Kawhis and one Paul George for 22K. I got them for 15K. Right when the market crashed, sold over 22K. Made a solid 5K quick. So I made 15K there. And then I have these two. I'm going to make another 5 to 6K off them. Now I'm going to make 25K off the market crash quickly. Done. I literally only played the game for 10 minutes. 
that has been my method as of late with the market crash. Um, but yeah, right now market is kind of slow. It's not a bad time to sell still. It depends. I mean, we still haven't seen that crazy market crash. What content? I really feel like that. Their content is really bad. If you're not seeing like crazy market crashes, it really means their content is weak. And they got to drop a banger. Like, I'm sorry. I feel like these, like, it's just that, I don't know, man. It's just they're dropping, like, unusable players. Like, people already have pink diamonds. So, with them dropping the set, it really, really, like, helps the people that spend mad money on the game. Like, this set doesn't do anything for the community unless you pop packs. That's the way I see it. That's the way a lot of people see it. So, right now, MT methods are a little, little less valued, in my opinion. But there is one method and it's simple it's literally going in your spiner and selling some old cars we're gonna go over it right now let's hit into it so you go to your collection and you literally have to just do listen to me right now these premium sets if you did not do the collection these old sapphires from months ago go for a ton of mc and these emeralds okay um it's crazy how much they go for let's check out this finley like what this finley is so expensive He's 7,500, probably like 7K. Now, I bought this car way back in the day. I'm never going to use him ever again. I don't plan on doing these sets. I'm going to go ahead and sell him for 7K. Not only is that, there's a ton of these cards. Even these gold cards are going for like, uh, wait, no, not him. Some of them are. Okay, you have to go through your collection and try to find out what's going for a lot of MT right now. Steve Nash is going for a ton. Um, Terry Porter Emerald, I was looking at him. He's like 7K. What set was he in? Uh, where is the Terry Porter? Sean Elliott, dude. All these cars in the premium sets are mad expensive. Ready? Emerald Terry Porter is going for a whopping 7K. This trash can that I'm never going to use. Goodbye. See you later. 7K on him. Let's check out the golds, bro. This is the best MT method right now. It's just because you guys probably forgot. This bomb gold. Urban Johnson's 3K. Sell him. Clear out some of these old premium collections. You're never going to use them again, bro. They're just sitting here. This Stefan Marbury is going for wrapping 14K. 16K. He's useless. He's absolutely useless. Go on the auction, sell him, and thank me. I have a ton of these cards just sitting in my collection. So do you guys, too. I bet you, you guys do this. If you did all these sets and you kept on to them, hold out, held on to these cards... Like I did, like, I mean, oof, these cards are expensive. They're useless. Get rid of these cards. This is going to make me hundreds of thousands of MT. Simply, for some reason, the, the certain emeralds and sapphires go for the most. I don't know why. I guess they just ran out of them. But, yeah, it's usually the older ones. Like, that's Harry Porter for 7K is a snag. This Stefan Marbury for uh, 14.9 is a snag. There's a ton of these cards. Let's check out this Al Harrington. This is kind of new. He's even going for, like, 1,800. I got them for like 500. So, with these old dude, these these old sets going for this much, it's kind of crazy. You can make a lot of MT off this. I just really recommend this Charlie Ward. Pretty old, right? He's probably going for around two, what 2k? You could have gotten for like what 500. He's going for a whopping 1300. I literally got him for like 800, 500. So like all these cards, a lot of these cards. You can also look at some old Amis like Bryant Reeves. I got him for Bryant Reeves for really cheap. I sold Bryant Reeves for 27k. I got him for 13k. That's a big snag. That's an 11k profit made off my Bryant Reeves. He's a no name. He was he came out like two weeks ago. I waited a little bit, used him a little bit, put a freaking price tag on him, sell him. 11k made in a like what? You just hold on to him. 10k is a big loss. Not at all. Get 100k together. It's not hard at this point in the game. Get 100k together. Sell your team. Work on this, bro. Um, sell all your old cards, bro. It's like the best method right now. Like, seriously, I'm going to make hundreds of thousands. This old set. Let's check out this old set. This is one of the first ones. Uh, wow, he's actually not that expensive. Come on, Shaq's got to be expensive. He's the only Shaq in the game. Shaq, yeah. Shaq's going for around six, 6 k Maybe 5 k That's big. 4 k I got him for way cheaper back in the day. Going for around 4 k Sapphire Shaq. 3 k there. That might be a good buy. But, yeah, you guys understand the point. I hope this video helps, but man, yeah, all these old cards, they're going for, a lot of them are expensive, a lot of them are aren't, but the ones that are expensive, go ahead and sell. Like this dude right here, 4,000 MT, might as well hit the auctions, baby. A gold for 4,000 MT, thank you. But yeah, guys, you understand the point? People are going to buy them too because they're all valuable. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more MT methods coming at you tomorrow too. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.